Consider a river flowing toward a lake at an average velocity of 3 meters per second at a rate of 500 cubic meters per second at a location 90 meters above the lake surface. Determine the total mechanical energy of the river water per unit mass and the power generation potential of the entire river at that location. So we have an average velocity which is equal to 3 meters per second and we have the volume flow rate which is equal to 500 cubic meters per second and a height of 90 meters. So your water goes into the pipe at an inclined direction. So therefore, you will have a kinetic energy and a potential energy. So to solve for the total mechanical energy per unit mass, so you have your mechanical energy is equal to the potential energy plus the kinetic energy. So that is equal to the gravity times height plus the velocity squared divided by 2. Substitute, so we'll have 9.81 meters per second squared times 90 meters plus 3 meters per second quantity squared divided by 2. So that will be 9.81 times 90 plus 3 squared over 2. So that will be 887.4 meters squared per second squared but the unit of your mechanical energy must be in kilojoule per kilogram so in one kilojoule per kilogram you will have 1000 meters squared per second squared so the total mechanical energy per unit mass is equal to 887.4 divided by 1000 so you will have 0 0.8874 kilojoule kilogram and this is your total mechanical energy per unit mass so for your letter B the power generation potential of the entire revert location the power generation potential is equivalent to the mechanical energy and your mechanical energy is equivalent to the mass flow rate times the mechanical energy per unit mass. Thus, for your mass flow rate, so that is equivalent to density times the volume flow rate. For your mass flow rate, the density of water is given as 1000 kilogram per cubic meter times the volume flow rate of the system which is 500 cubic meters per second so your mass flow rate is equal to 500,000 kilogram per second. So therefore, the power generation potential is equal to the mass flow rate times the mechanical energy per unit mass. So that is 0 0.8874 kilojoule. Kilogram. So the power generation potential is equivalent to 500,000 times 0 0.8874 so that is equal to 443,700 kilojoule per second. Your 1 kilojoule per second is equivalent to kilowatts so therefore you will have 443,700 kilowatts approximately that is equivalent to 444 mega watts so this would be your power generation potential but in an actual system the power output would be less than 444 megawatts because of losses and inefficiencies